I'm Eddie Edwards. Uh, most people know me as Eddie the Eagle. I never knew that I was going to be a ski jumper and go to Olympic Games and become Eddie the Eagle. Uh, it was just uh, my crazy life and my crazy journey ended up with me being a ski jumper and going to the Olympics. And, um, you know, who'd have thought? I'd have thought that would have been impossible 35 years ago. But 30 years ago, it happened. Ah, risk taker. That's the thing about, you know, realising that anything is possible. All you've got to do is be brave enough to go out there and do it, give it a go, um, think the unthinkable, um, and who knows, it, you know, things do happen, and uh, amazing things happen, but every single risk that I took, some were successful, some were failures, but I learned from those failures, um, and, and I've had a fantastic, you know, 40 years of skiing and ski jumping. Technology, that was my biggest stumbling block, because even then, 30 years ago, um, some of the best nations, they were using things like wind tunnels because they spend 20 minutes in that wind tunnel. They've already done a whole season's jumping. So when they come to the jumps, they only had to do three, four or five jumps. They'd all be perfect and they can go off and have lunch. I didn't have the facility of a wind tunnel, so I was doing 20, 40, 60 jumps a day, um, sometimes up to 100 jumps a day because I couldn't use that technology. I had to do it the hard way, the old way. The best thing I used really was video cameras and they're a massive great thing and then I take them back to the hotel and watch them but now you know this present day it's fantastic you just get out your phone uh, film yourself or get somebody to film you jumping and, and you can watch it straight back so technology has moved a lot further now but it was quite good back then and um, I wasn't able to take advantage of it it was more important for me because I had no money no training facilities no trainer nothing I had to grab whatever opportunity came my way whether that was a free meal if, if I was talking to somebody and they, they all of a sudden heard that I was you know trying to ski or ski jump and try and go to Olympics they'd say oh you know I'll buy you lunch and I thought oh, thank you very much and that was a, a nice meal uh, other times it would be you know a fellow jumper he had a modern a more modern pair of skis and he finished with those he'd, he'd got a brand new pair um, I'd either ask for them or sometimes he would say you know do you want my old skis and I think yes please and I grabbed them um, so I, I just grabbed hold of any opportunity that would help me on my journey to become an Olympian and, and go to Olympic Games whether that was food whether that was a hotel stay whether that was somebody driving my car uh, or giving me equipment you've got to grab hold of those opportunities because it makes things easier